Jason Abbott here with American Honda. We're in Packwood, Washington for the press intro of the highly anticipated 2019 CRF 450L. So the 2019 CRF 450L is based off the CRF 450 platform that was released in 2017. Um, as you can see, it looks a lot like the race model, the 450R. You know, it has the, the same uh, 449cc uh, Unicam engine, uh, electric start, the downdraft, downdraft intake, it has all that same features uh, and look of the race model. Um, but, you know, in order to make it a dual sport model, uh, there was quite a bit done to the, the bike itself. Um, you know, focusing on the engine. Uh, I think the big thing for this model is a six speed wide ratio transmission. Honda hasn't had a, a six speed transmission in any of their off-road models in the past. So uh, with this model, um, you know, all new dedicated cases. Uh, we have dedicated ECU settings, um, but internally uh, the, the crank has uh, extra uh, mass on the crank, uh, journals, and then you have extra weight on the clutch basket. Um, so all that put together with the uh, powerful Unicam engine, um, it, basically, it basically smooths out the power and makes it more manageable for, you know, your everyday dual sport off-road uh, usability. It might not seem like a big deal, but uh, this model has these uh, these trick uh, plastic covers on the outside. Not only do they protect the bike in off-road situations where you you know say you might hit a rock or uh, or tree roots or whatnot if you fall, uh, but they also reduce sound. Everybody's been commenting so far from the press intro is, is just how quiet this this engine is, and uh, and again like how strong the power is. Uh, for a street legal uh, model from American Honda. So the chassis on the CRF 450L, uh, again, is based off the CRF 450 platform from 2017 uh, and current. Um, you know, one of the big differences on this frame is the fact that it houses the new six-speed transmission and the new engine. Um, you know, the, uh, through the center spars, we're looking at about 15 millimeters wider. Um, uh, in order to house that and then it's also been tuned uh, for off-road and street use as well. Um, another cool aspect of, of uh, this bike is that it has a subframe that actually goes all the way to towards the end of the the rear fender and the rear fender is actually uh, just a shell. Um, what this does is it allows you to uh, you know put luggage on here and strap down you know your tools and necessities for off-road and dual sport riding uh, without having to sacrifice uh, stability. The suspension on the 450L is the same suspension that's used across the board in, this, in the new CRF performance line. Um, the forks are the 49 millimeter work style forks. Um, you have the Showa shock, a ProLink uh, rear end, um, but the internals have been uh, adjusted obviously for off-road dual sport use. But another part of the, uh, of the model that really stands out is a urethane filled swing arm. So, it really, really dampens the sound. It gets rid of the harmonics from the rear end. Uh, it reduces chain slap. There's almost, chain slap noise is almost non-existent with this model. Uh, so you take, you take in, into consideration that, you know, Honda reduced the engine noise, you reduce the chassis noise, and, uh, and all of that basically reduces vibration and adds comfort. Obviously, you need lights. So all of the, uh, the lights on this model are LED. Um, including this uh, DOT proved a headlight. Um, the headlight itself, it's lighter, it's more compact, um, it uses uh, less power than say, you know, a standard traditional bulb. But also what it does is it allows the, uh, the front headlight to be brought back more towards the center of the motorcycle and keep the weight in the middle. Honda's always thinking about, um, you know, the next level of technology and something as simple as, as these blinkers, these LED blinkers. Um, you know, this is an off-road model and it is gonna be taking off-road trails and you are gonna fall down. So what, what Honda did is they have these, uh, these new blinkers that actually bend in a 90 degree fashion. So if you do fall over, you're gonna be okay. The new digital meter is actually a very, very cool uh, feature of this model. Um, obviously you have uh, mileage, so you're always gonna be able to see the mileage. You have trip A and trip B. You actually have current uh, MPGs. You have average, average MPGs. But another really cool feature is it actually shows you your fuel consumption. 
Um, so based on your mileage, where you're at, you can see how much fuel you've used and you can actually, um, you know, kind of, uh, it, it helps you to gauge, you know, where you need to be. And, uh, if you have, uh, you know, enough fuel to make it to the next stop without guessing with the dual sport, you're going to be in a wide variety of, of, of terrain, um, up in the Hills, you might even be closer to, uh, some houses. So with this, with this quiet exhaust, it, uh, it allows you to travel more places than say something that's a little bit louder. The engineers and everybody at the staff did an amazing job at, at putting this model together. And, and again, we're very excited for the public to, uh, to get, their, get their hands on one and, and really experience what, what, we're, uh, what we're so excited about.